Hello and welcome back to the channel and another episode of Stu's Reviews. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video of any help at all because it really helps me out and it helps you see more Stu's Reviews. Moving on, today we're going to take a look at this, the ID115. This fitness tracker from Tesla's is an updated version of the ID107. It comes in five color options and fastens with a classic buckle. It has a battery life of seven days and can be fully charged in less than two hours. This tracker also has a waterproof rating of IP67, which means you can wear it in the shower, in the rain, or even light indoor swimming. Let's talk about the style of the ID115. So, the first thing I would say is it looks very much like some of the more expensive Fitbits, which is a good thing because they are a popular design and it works well. Now, the thing that I like the most on this in terms of design-wise is that the buckle on the bottom is very secure. Quite a lot of fitness trackers just use this kind of clasp mechanism. This uses a full buckle, so it does feel very secure on your wrist. Now, another design benefit is that you can pull the strap off like this with a bit of a tug and this with another tug and you can change the color of the strap because you're left with the body which is the fitness tracker itself now it's charged through usb on the bottom which is quite ingenious really because it's built into the strap and you've got a heart rate monitor on the bottom and a screen on the front with a non-physical button here so it's like a touch sensor button that allows you to change the things you can see on the screen. So overall, for style, I think it's designed very well. It feels nice. It does feel quite light, but then again, it's a fitness tracker. It's meant to feel light on your wrist. Uh, but overall, for style, I'd say A+. Plus. Mm. Functionality is always important to take a look at. So let's dive in and take a look at the interface of the actual fitness tracker itself. So as I said earlier, there is a non-physical button at the bottom of this watch. So if you tap it, it brings up the clock. And it goes off after about five seconds. And if you tap it more than once, it cycles through the different options. So we have training, we have heart rate, steps, camera, functionality, alarm, and notifications, and back to the watch. Now, let's talk about some of these functions. If we go to training, for example, I really like this because it allows you to start a training session directly from the watch, which means if you're going for a run, you don't have to get your phone out to record specifically that you're doing a training session. If you just hold your finger on the button at the bottom, it'll start it for you and it'll give you the option then of changing it to a walk, run, cycle, or hike, or badminton apparently. Anyway, but holding it again, I think, will take us back. And if we double tap it, it would start the uh, session. Now, you can also do some more interaction when we pop through to this, which is the notification function. Now, I really like this. Essentially, if I go to that and hold my... Fit oh, I've lost it again. Let's go back. If I hold my finger on this, it turns all notifications off. So if I'm in a meeting or I'm, or I'm in a, an important area or doing something important, I can turn all notifications off directly from the watch without having to go to the app, which is quite a hindrance. So I really like the fact that you can do a bit more with this watch directly from just using this button. Now, if we go to... Uh, where is it now? The camera functionality this allows us to control our camera as well so it activates it like a shutter so if you press this button when your camera's over on the other side of the room it will take a photo of yourself without you having to press the button on the camera so it gives a lot of in functionality a lot of interactivity with the interface of this watch which is really really good now 
I've always said that a fitness tracker is only as good as its app. And we've seen in the past some fantastic fitness trackers let down by miserable rubbish apps that have been made by somebody in a forced labor situation in China. So it's important to have a look at the app for the ID115. So the app that you are going to use with the ID115 is called VeryFit Pro. Now, you may have seen me talk about VeryFit Pro before and that's because the id107 which is one of my favorite fitness trackers also uses very fit not this version though it uses like a slim down version this one can do a bit more so let's go into it now we're met with obviously the device settings which i was on just a second ago but if we go back to the main page we get access to a bunch of generic normal stats we get how many steps we've done today, we get how I slept last night, we get the heart rate of today. Now, the device has just uh, sunk with the app, so we'll now be able to view some of that data. So as an example here, we can see that last night I had three hours of deep sleep and four hours of light sleep, and I actually feel okay this morning. I feel like I've slept quite well. Now we go back to activity, we can see how far I've walked and the amount of time that I've walked as well. Moving on to heart rate, we can see uh, a big graph if we tap on this i think there we are we can see a graph of um, your heart rate throughout the day and you can see when i was asleep from sort of zero which was midnight through to about eight in the morning nine in the morning my heart rate was pretty much straightforward blue quite low and then as i took the dogs for a walk later on around lunchtime it shot up now in terms of the functionality, it gives you standard functionality, I'd say, but there are a few other things which I'll talk about now. So while I was on the walk, I chose to record it as an activity. Now, if we scroll down, we can actually get a map of the route that I took and we can see in terms of uh, how fast I was at certain sections, as you can see down at the bottom, there was a large red section. That's because I live on a mountain, and as soon as I leave the door, I have to walk uphill. And it was ridiculously, ridiculously steep, so it was red. And I think this is really, really good. Now, the way this works is the watch itself will record the health aspects of it, so how many calories I've burned and how many steps I've done. And the, if you take your phone with you, it will record the GPS movement of where you've been. And I think this is a really good addition to this app. Not This isn't something that VeryFit 1 or VeryFit 2 has. This is only something that VeryFit Pro has, and it will only work with the ID115. Now, there's one last thing that this app can do along with the watch, which I really, really love. Now, if we go into device settings at the bottom and then pop down to more we can then go to dial set and change the watch face, which I think is fantastic. So we've got boring digital watch, we have a movement tracker, we have the earth in all its glory, we have a standard analog watch. And I think, okay, fine, there's only four watches to choose from, but it gives you a little bit more customizability. And I really like this, I think it's a cool little touch, and I just think it adds to the experience of using this app and the watch itself. This is over on Amazon US at the moment, and it costs about $35, which equates to about 25 British pounds. And as usual, guys, I'll leave a link below in the description where you can check it out for yourself. This time it is from a company called Tesla's, and like I said, I'll leave a link below so you can check it out on Amazon. Is the ID115 by Tesla's any good? Well, it's got a good set of core features. It's built well, it has a heart rate monitor and a strap, all of what you'd expect from a standard fitness tracker. But what about the unique features of this? Well, as I've said already, the one feature that I really loved was the fact that I can turn notifications off directly from the watch without having to go into an app and turn off notifications. That way you can press a button and it turns everything off for you, which is great in sort of situations where you need to be quiet or you don't want notifications coming through on your wrist. I really love the fact that you can change the watch face as well. Now this isn't something that a lot of companies do at the moment. 
quite a lot of the time you're forced to have just a boring digital face, whereas this gives you a little bit more customization. And I think that's important in today's society where we want to personalize pretty much everything. So overall, I think it's a fantastic fitness tracker and I think it's got some really good core features. It's accurate, but it's also got some very unique features to this particular tracker that not a lot of cheap budget trackers seem to have. So overall, I think it's a fantastic fitness tracker. Hmm. And that concludes my review of the ID115 Fitness Tracker by Teslas. Guys, if you like the review, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and share if you're feeling nice. And I'll see you back on Stu's Reviews for another episode soon.